This picture of a boatload of sea cucumber snapped recently in Waimanalo got people's attention, and not in a good way. Land board members heard today from Native Hawaiians who say even though they worry about how their cultural gathering rights will be affected, they support this temporary ban. When you look at the larger picture, this overharvesting is going to be very detrimental to the practices of the cultural people. Um, subsistence gatherers do not gather like that. State biologists briefed the board about how across the globe countries are moving to restrict the harvesting of a fishery that once it's collapsed takes a long time to recover. In Asia, some species can fetch up to $100 a pound in its dried form. It's a boom and bust fishery where fish, the, the fishermen can collect a large amount of these animals in a very short time. That, uh, that kind of uh, system in, is hard to track. Miyasaka says 17 people recently applied for commercial fishing licenses. His division hopes to know more about their take by next month when catch reports are supposed to be filed. All the testimony today was in support of moving quickly to protect a marine resource. It came to light, obviously, that hundreds, if not thousands, of these um, animals, these sea cucumbers, were being commercially harvested uh, with a great detriment, um, potentially, to our entire reef um, ecosystem. No one testified against the ban, but there were calls by others in the community to increase enforcement to protect not just the harvesting of sea cucumbers, but of seaweed and reef fish taken for the aquarium trade. We need to do more. Dog care needs to be at 24 hours. I live on the shoreline in Kanyohe Bay, and we see the lights at night. People diving at night. Native Hawaiians are asking to be included in the drafting of permanent rules so they and other cultures can share their knowledge about the sea cucumbers, which Hawaiians call loli. Mother here, Maui people eat loli. From where I come from on Hawaii Island, we don't eat it. We use it for medicinal purposes. And so it's different on every island. Some are suggesting the state require mandatory education about the species before commercial licenses are issued. We'll take about a boatload, not knowing. They feel, they feel they're there to make money, but it's not the point. When you over harvest, you get less. Catherine Cruz, KITV 4 News. The rules will go into effect once the governor signs off on them. The DLNR expects that they will be signed pretty soon.